bumped into my neighbor. How's it going? A little chit-chat. He said, what are you going to do this summer? I said, I'm going to write a leadership book and be a motivational speaker. He laughed and said, why in the world would anyone want to listen to you? Some neighbor, huh? Tells it as he sees it. I kind of laughed and said, because I'm amazing. Can I redirect that question to you? Why in the world would anyone listen to you? And this is a leadership session, right? Why would anyone follow you? Because you're amazing, right? I'm going to teach you four principles that will enable you to be even more amazing. And I'll show you organizations who are transforming their industry because they're some of the few that understand this concept and who get it. One of the only airlines who hasn't filed for bankruptcy in the last decade and a half. Customer sent in a complaint letter. I don't like the way you play around with this airline flight thing. This is serious business. Most airlines would call a meeting. We got to tone down the fun. Customers aren't happy. Not Southwest. They sent the customer a note that simply said, we'll miss you. <laughs> our performance, our productivity, our sales, our ability to engage and communicate and motivate and inspire. It's, it's innovation. It's creativity. It's a new product. It's a new system. It's, it, it ignites genius. And uh, it's another benefit. Uh, through the, uh, Concourse C, security checkpoint. I saw this sign, recombobulation area. Did anybody learn that in high school or did I miss something? <laughs> recombobulation area. Yet yeah, think of the last time you were in an airplane. Did you feel a little, I've got my driver's license, I've got my boarding pass, I've got my belt, I've got my shoes, I've got my laptop, I've got my briefcase, and I've got my roller bag, and I felt a little discombobulated. <laughs> if the security guys can play, anybody can, right? <laughs> Look at this kid, he's a doll, he's 18 months old, his name is Rafe, R-A-I-F. This kid could be the cutest grandbaby in Utah, if not the world. <laughs> Any resemblance? Yes, he is my grandbaby. 18 months old, living in Salt Lake with mom and dad, small apartment. Let me show you what happened one day. Dad's at work, mom steps out of the living room into the kitchen momentarily, comes back and here's what she sees. The blocks are arranged by color and by size. I don't know if you can teach an 18 month old that. I don't know, but what it does mean is this is the natural outcome of play. According to a Gallup poll, the cost of a disengaged employee in one year is 550 billion dollars. A disengaged employee is, is likely to uh, show up late if they show up at all. They cause contentious feelings among, in our organizations and they drive customers away. Why are they disengaged? They're not having enough fun at work. Companies from all over the world are flying to Las Vegas to see what you're doing. Uh, they remove titles and create this fun, crazy, wacky environment and get together in the evening. And if you're uh, lucky enough to get interview and good enough to get hired after training, we'll give you $4,000 to quit to see if you're committed to our culture and our playful nature. And their la they went from a million to a billion in sales. That's lots of zeros. Tell me that play is not business relevant. So I wrote a little book called Play, The New Leadership Secret That Changes Everything. It changes the way I deliver keynote presentations. It changes the deliver I teach in the college classroom. It changes the way I run my business. It changes the way I interact with my family. It changes the way I handle difficult people and challenging circumstances. It changes everything.